Good morning. So if you're military or government, you know that you take forever to do anything. You have to run it past the board and your intelligence is fucking retarded. I got toothpaste on my zit. Um, you can make a fucking decision to save your life. You know that, right? Um, you need our help more than you need food to eat. You should be full and dead already. Um, so last night was a funny one. I probably had fucking felt like 20 different dreams. No. Um, and when I, when I dream and I wake up, I always vape so I can remember it. But then last night I came, I came into a room or, or there was a guy sitting there with his back towards me, mixing my dreams up in bottles. I thought it was kind of funny. Fucking hilarious. And uh, they were really good dreams. I had lots of wipes last night. Um, for the most part. But what I don't like is when I wake up and I hear them talking about the dreams. Because in order to give me a dreams, usually they have to give me... Like, they can make it. Last night was the first dream. The, the night before last night was the first dream they gave me where they were feeding me food and I could taste it. Can never do that ever in my life. Um, they get, they get, getting a blowjob from a girl could feel it. Then getting insulted right after. Fucking hilarious. Um, last night I would wake up and because they have to play with your hormones in order to do this. The little guys, not the big guys. Way different. Um, when I sit there with my eyes closed and then I start watching the, I call it, we'll call it the TV waves. Their way of communicating with each other silently. They can talk or they can use a frequency going up and down or emotions. They can talk in a whole bunch of ways. But then uh, they love showing me different aliens and stuff in my sleep. Like I've seen all the Star Wars ones. Those are way different. But I'm talking about real ones or real animals or real planets. Way different. I've been in oceans on life preservers, floating around looking in the water of the different animals and checking out the different crystals. I can't wait to leave this place. But then I always have to come to punishing them when they're fucking shitty because I have to treat them like children because that's also how they act. They act in ways of mannerisms to make me upset so I can remember things. Or to get the messages through your fucking retarded scalps. Because you're so Neanderthal. And I met Neanderthals. That you're like a couple steps below them. Um, but. Last night was fucking hilarious. Because I wake up. And I, I live in a house of all guys. I fucking hate it here. This is jail. For me trying to make the world a better place. Me trying to save the planet. You guys have jailed me. You guys have almost had cops fucking kill me. Um, to try to make the queen have a... Uh, feel accomplished for all of her goals of life. You've punished me for it. Um, robbed me and made my life shitty. Last night, because I don't watch porn, but I've spoken before about how when... I thought you guys, when you guys were had the choppers outside my house and you had the surveillance team down the road for me when I lived on 102 Avenue in Surrey, um, I had to make myself look like a fucking idiot. So I had to watch more porn than any person. Um, do it watching speed and just watch it so you guys would just think I was under the radar. If you guys haven't figured out that X marks the spot of my Pinterest for... The Alex Fraser Bridge, or if you haven't read that video, you're fucking stupid. Um, I threw it right over a bunch of phones. I probably already talked about that. But last night was fucking hilarious. Last night I had a big uh, when when I when I when I would wake up from a dream and they're talking about who's doing what in my dream next, um, and then them thinking that I'm gonna get off. It's like you're never alone. Right? So it's like. When you know they're teasing you or making fun of you behind your back. Um, 
pretending like these aliens pretend like I'm a fucking alien to each other and shit like that or or whatever. So last night it was like a masturbating gray. They was insinuating who I was. Fucking insulting as fuck. Not to the grays, but just to my ego, my self esteem, and who I am. Because I would never do that to anybody. I call it as I see it. And if they see me like that, well, I guess they do too, but it's fucking immature as fuck. There's, I've got their kids in me, I've got their adults, and some of them are fucking dry as fuck. That's like their, you know how you guys have your different divisions of retard? Well, so do they. Um, and some of them are fucking hurtful and spiteful. The ones that talk to me that want me to research certain things while I'm in a different mind frame. They want me to follow, make, make my own conclusions. But because now I was the happiest person on the planet and between your and their help, I have had to turn from the happiest empath on the planet to the shittiest person alive for a long time and it's not who I am. They talk about things like they can't wait to see me be happy with a wife. And then last night, every time I woke up, every time I, a dream would end, I wake up so I can remember it. But then I'm sitting there thinking that I didn't have a dream. And then I literally, that they literally place all my memories back in my head of my dream because my dream was happening outside of my body. And then they said, we get, we let you have your memories last night in your dream. Um, and I thought, wow, thank you. Um, I'm leveling up. Um, I was aware of who I was. I was at a restaurant with a girl. And I knew I was a fucking vegan. And she was too, except because of the society you created. Um, I have no money. And I'm too stubborn to tell her that. And she was just going for appies. It's funny because I used to go for appies and I forgot that term, that, that, what that even meant because I've been living so shitty for so long. I used to go, love going for appies. I haven't done it for fucking years. I have, it's like, it's like, it's like a different life for me. Going for appies is a different lifetime. Um, and she invited me to go for vegetarian appies. And uh, I had to decline because I was embarrassed. Um, that means I just couldn't fucking afford it. Um, and then I'd wake up and feel insulted by a whole bunch of people on my bed watching me fucking. And I need to get off. Everybody does call it quantumly entangled. But and I don't give a fuck if I do it with a fucking audi audience. This is somebody shoot behind my head. Um, I really don't fucking care. Um, every time I get off, it wakes every person in my house up. Every fucking time. And I just don't fucking care anymore. Um, the, the guys start groaning in their sleeps when I'm trying to get off. The guys, all the guys start fucking groaning. It's fucking weird. Okay. Um, I remember when I was camping in the trees, or like I used to love sleeping on hammocks, but when I was in the tent, and I couldn't physically see anybody in my tent, but somebody farted fucking loud, and I went ape shit and threw my pillow in my tent. I just didn't really care. I just thought it was fucking hilarious. And then I went and climbed the tree. And there's a bunch of different types of amoras, right? Reptile people? A whole bunch of them. So I went and climbed a tree to get a vantage point just to see them all. Because I was camping in the lowest part of a ravine, circled, surrounded by water all the way around me. With big holes at the bottom where the roots are, with big cob tunnel spider webs going inside. Somewhere where you probably wouldn't camp with your family. And so I decided to climb the tree to get a vantage point. And holy fuck, there were tons of them. All around my tent. Like, everywhere. Just standing in the water. Not moving. But fucking everywhere. These ones are really cool looking, though. 
they were they had a nose on them amora has a flat face um very flat face um these ones didn't these ones had uh, a nose and a mouth that came out extruded their heads um very cool very cool looking species and bigger than amora um and fucking a lot of them I thought it was cool. And I camped there every fucking night. Um, uh, they're almost to the point right now. I'm, I'm, I'm pretty much drawing a line for m myself on my own standards right now. Um, because I'm continuing to be depressed every day. And you, because of your society... Um, you guys got me to go to jail and get addicted to the box and, and all this shit. Um, to pass my time in jail, I'm off of it all. But now because I've been depressed so long and because I'm classified as a retard on disability, a uh, person with multiple barriers, just so I can eat and survive in a recovery house, um, now I have to... And I'm not afraid of you judge me or whatever, but... I'm pretty much to the point now where I'm, I'm, when you guys finally bring me out to the public, I will be changing the world as fast as I can in my lifetime. I'll be smoking meth on TV uh, and I'll be stopping it once the world's in order and I'll be recovering live. Um, everything will change, but I'm to the point right now where if they're going to mock me as fucking different species when they're the ones causing me to get horny, if they're not going to just get me off straight and simple, I'm going to start watching it again. And be, I fucking hate it. They know it. They green my thoughts. Um, I'm going to go get on depression medicine as well. Because you guys take too fucking long. And I'm getting fucking sick of this. My first thought today, I woke up happy. And then... Soon as I thought, wow, they're giving me my own memories in my dream. Like, good for them. They started laughing at me. Huge insult. Huge insult. So, right away I thought, I'm going to go get a meds and fuck you guys. I'm going to watch porn. And it's going to be fucking rotten shit for you. I watched alien porn. I watched fucking weird fucking crap. Just, just only to teach. I got this phone just to be a fucking mentor. And now, because some of them have the dry sense of humor, because that's their their specialty. Now I've got to change my personality to a different type to coincide with their shitty behavior. I've got lots of personalities. This one will get... You start using depression meds now. And... Um, and start watching porn. I'm gonna make sure I get, make sure I get the meds like, like some meds kill your libido. I'm all for that. I wish I didn't even have the fucking thing. Um. Since they've been in my life, I went from being an insecure fucking man. Some a lot of guys go into recovery and then right away they'll need to do steroids because they were skinny and they want to have everything their whole life back and be more popular or have more girls than they've ever had. So they'll instantly go to steroids and Cialis and stuff. Um, I've tried every single walk of life. There's nothing I haven't done. Um, I have absolutely at 39 years old, I've got definitely with more help than I need, like a fucking army here, but a nice one, not a retarded one. Um, just fucking rude and childish sometimes. I understand why, but, and I thought it was funny because when they'll do like an SOS or Morse code or they'll, sometimes they'll just call for help because of my mood and some that are around me won't know how to handle my mood. So, or they'll know that I need more help to lift me back out of it because the thing is, is when you do amphetamines and you go under, when you depleted all your dopamine levels and you're 1300% below, uh, it takes a little bit of help to pull yourself out of that depressional rut sometimes. Sure, I can sing like a fucking rock star, but um, it's futile. 
so today wasn't a verbal, uh, we need help lifting this guy up. It was uh, just an SOS and a frequency because they don't want me to do the meds. But I have to stand my ground on this, and just like I do with you fucking retards. I can change the world. We can change the world. Um, you could tell your kids you're actually making a difference, too. You'll be a follower. Sure as shit. But I'll make you feel good about yourself until you're actually on your own two feet. You'll actually take the training wheels off your bike and learn how to fucking fly again. We'll slap the retard out, out of you. How's that? We won't even have to behead you like a witch. Did you know back in the days there were some wars that were going on that just got annihilated because they would have to carry 100,000 horses and have to carry 100,000 more just to carry their food? And then the ones with 10,000 horses, they would have to carry no food because they just milked their horses and made cheese. And they fucking slaughtered. Um, every time I do something that I would think is negative, if it has a positive outcome, it makes it so not any person can look at me in the eyes. Because it, uh, your soul or spirit knows that what I'm doing is that good for your spiritual death and revival that you won't even be able to look at me when I go into a store and steal unless I want you to. Like when I was going to the dollar store every day to steal from there to feed homeless people, I would go to the same one and break the same window because you can't charge me twice. So I'd go to the same one and break the same fucking window every day until, and you guys would never arrest me. Um, because all of us stealing was stealing fucking food to feed homeless. More than you've ever done for a homeless person in your entire life. I did it in fucking two weeks. Isn't that fucking, are you fucking proud of me? When I went to the pizza store, I sat there and waited for the guy to show up. And then I did it my old way. Sneaky. But then I just sat there. I wanted to get arrested. Um, churches should get burned. You know what I mean? Um, everything you do is wrong. Everything you look at is fucking retarded. You need more help than just me alone can offer. When they're learning things from that they've never thought of before based off of what I'm saying um, is intuition without thinking. Like right now I'm talking. That's no intuition. Intuition kicks in if you just... Intuition kind of goes on autopilot if you just keep talking. And then I see their faces get puzzled. And then, then they'll have something new to think on. Right? And then they'll be like, oh, check out this invention. This is like what we created. Um, and then I'll put my touches on it. And I'll be like, okay, well, this is some shit that I would do to change it. Uh, the biggest idea for that would be them wanting to put uh, shaded mushroom, like giant mushroom domes on the craters. That's their idea. Uh, my idea was to run with that and to change it up. You, you know make the first one like they said and then and then adapt it you know what i mean like show them that we're caring and we're thinking about what they what they they know is a good idea and what works on other planets i've told you that i would never do that because i fucking hate you so much tell you about their sciences but i won't i won't give you extraterrestrial science they're um interterrestrial different um they're the they're they are the foreman of so when it comes to levels of life there's us there's people and ufos and there's them okay so what does that mean i mean sure as shit they can go and slap a fucking alien in the face or a reptile and say come and look at this guy they'll tell them that in their own language and sure as shit they did i remember one day i was there watching the playing with the stars my hands and um 
every start, the, there was a girl's voice, and she's just like, Hi, I'm Eve. Um, I'm going to teach you how to move stars. So I'm like, okay. And, and then, so I would, like, try to grab the milky dick bird and flex and try to spin it, and then it would start spinning. Every star in the sky moved and started spinning. Every single one. To the point I thought every single star was a different UFO. And then all these then all the stars lined up and they all I was laying I got I was laying on the ground and every star lined up and took a turn flying over top right over top of me where I was laying and every star would drop a little guy off of it every fucking star around would come and drop somebody off and the person would float down I'd watch them float down and land right beside me on the grass there were hundreds of them, fucking hundreds of them, all over the place yeah I haven't left my side ever since they float up and float down all the time. But when it comes to communicating, and in order for me to be able to see them in full, I've had to push on my, get blood to go in the side packs of my temple and push in every color that I could see so that way I could see all radio waves. Um, I spend lots of time prepping myself for this. And if I'm too harsh for you, I'm sorry. And I'll apologize. I'll over, I'm Canadian as well. Well, I shouldn't say that. I'm a human doing. Uh, so I'll apologize for every time I've called you a fag. A fag isn't a gay. It's just how you act. It's faggy. You don't have that bad of bitch tits either. They're not that bad. See, I say things all the time that I have to go back and contradict myself. Because when I say things, there's the reason they're holding me in depression right now is because there's so much know I've learned so much. And the to, we call your death 0%, my death 3,700%. What would actually make me die? Based on being assaulted by your law watching murder happen um, also them learning from my behaviors what I can handle um, where what's stored where where how to unhold it um, how I've been insulted before from ex-girlfriends um, when I've been there just trying to help see I get offended really easy because everything I've done with ex-girlfriends I've always I've gotten in relationships just to help them like get get their kids back get their families back and I haven't known how to do it properly unless I'm in a relationship because then you're listening to better when it's one-on-one -on -one, right and I've done this tons of times and I always put myself last I've had to change my whole belief system to help people my moral code my moral quote, I don't know if it's changed, but everything about me has changed. They told me that I'll get my wife one day on a beach. That's what they said. So I just don't look. I make sure when I go even to a simple AA meeting that I'm surrounded by guys. And I don't even fucking look at them. No matter how much I, I cry that I need affection or a hug i just won't go fucking go there i don't want anybody from this fucking planet nobody everybody disgusts me you taught me that you're better than you're born to be We could talk about the three girls above me and the pictures or the three boys or the four disciples or uh, the artwork that it's put on. We could talk about triangles or circles or squares or how the triangles I was talking about where you flip it upside down, how that would be numerous infinity signs. We could talk about that if you'd like. We could talk about how you spy on everybody. 
if you'd like. We could talk about how I'm going to bring this to public attention and awareness with help from you and others and how we can actually get starships landing here and being part of us, like grow with us and them being friendlies. If you like, we can discuss how it will happen privately and then bring it to realism. We can talk about this stuff. Or you can just sit there and spend a lifetime searching through all the shit that's been caused in the last three years. And not do anything. And hide alien bodies. And then they'll never want to come down here. Because of the things you've done. Or I can make you feel and look like a fucking hero. And make, we can craft you into being heroes. The decision's up to yours and King Charles, for fuck's sakes. And all those shadow worshippers. The last thing I want to do is take your place in the world. I just want to express fully my place in the world. Who I am. I take, I've probably got the lyrics, smallest carbon imprint on the fucking planet. I don't even buy clothing. It gets given to me. Uh, I am really disappointed because my plastic shoes broke. In summertime, people should be wearing Crocs and shit, especially if they're homeless. We've talked about this. But um, my rubber ones broke, and there was none that were affordable, so I had to buy leather ones. Do you know how shitty that makes me? Having to wear leather on my feet? Did you see the picture in print? And, and Pinterest with the shoes that were hieroglyphed with the soul code you're going to be shoes but I still don't want to wear you do you get that? You're running out of time as fast as I'm running out of patience. And I haven't had patience for a long, long, long time. As much as I want to go to the doctor today, just to... All my artwork, uh, like I was drawing artwork of the stuff that they were teach, showing me and teaching me and giving them names and stuff. And also calling them things like Shredder and... and um, teasing them back and and when the ones that have a see they can they can mock voices so if i am 100 percent synchronized or embodied with one then that person will leave and then i'll start embodying the next one or vice versa sort of thing they don't want to take turns coming into me based off of what's going on but they'll use the typically the same voices 